Hi guys. So today I am going to show you some interesting topics in C++ and every pro C++ programmer should know this concept. So let's get started. So here you can see I have a class called animal. So here I am creating some function foo and I am assigning a value 10 to this m underscore value and which is a private variable. So do, do you think that when the assigning a value to this one get uh, program your program get crash? So obviously no, right? So let's see what happened. So let me compile this one. So let me increase the font. G++. I'll give a hyphen G for debugging the things. So let's do it out out. So can you see here? It is giving a segmentation fault. Now let's see like understand like what's the reason for this one. For that one, let's open a GDB. And before that one, let's, let me show you the program like how it is getting crashed. So the how it getting crashed is using this one. So here you can see animal p is equal to null pointer and with this null pointer we are trying to uh, call this function and the reason is not being assigned this value null to this one so the reason is this pointer inside this foo is a null and internally this m underscore value is called using like this so this is the reason it is getting crashed so this line of the code is getting creating this crash so let's understand this one let me go and debug this one then use gdb head dot out and let me run this one so when i run this one can you see here m underscore value is equal to 10 this is the line which is causing the crash so why it is causing the crash because here you can see this pointer is null which is zero so when i do backtrace here you can see this foo is getting called and the first argument for this foo is this and that is at this pointer the address we have to send it is not like we have to send the compiler will automatically send address of animal as a first argument to this function so let's me let me uh, do print of this so here you can see always this pointer that means the first argument whatever we are sending and it is being typecasted internally like this animal star const the const is here because you can also assign this to some other object so that is the reason the const is after this one after animal star so internally it typecast this one and it is trying to dereference and use this one whenever it is trying to dereference this here you can see there is it is a null pointer so i cannot dereference a null pointer so that is why i kernel is setting a segmentation fault six segment signal so now let me and let's understood uh, more about this one so the moral of uh, story is whenever you have a pointer like this and it is assigned to a null this object pointer is assigning to a null pointer it does not mean that i cannot call this function even if you would let's say i told you this uh, this is how it works right so what happens if i try to do something uh, print here let's say int i is equal to 0 int i less than 10 i plus plus so now we'll do c out in this case here you can see i'm not accessing any of this variable so i'm not accessing any of this member variable so that means this function should ideally works so let's see let's compile and see main.cpp when i try to execute can you see here so here you can see uh, this has been executing properly without even getting a segmentation fault because I am not accessing any of the member variable. So what is the moral of the story? That means if you have a function in the class, that function is shared across all the objects. If you have a hundred object, there will be only one copy of this function. And how it detects that this function belongs to this object. So that is by using this pointer. So now let's uh, dig in more and let's figure out whether it is actually correct or not. So for that one, let's do one thing. So what I'll do is, so let me give uh, animal star p is equal to new animal. And let me try to print out this pointer. Similarly, let's go here and let me comment out this part. And let's do address of this address of this so if my things are correct if this as a this is the pointers which has been automatically sent from sent as a first argument to this foo 
this both this address should print the same value so let's figure out that let me compile and execute can you see here the address of p is this one so let me rename this p to this and let me recompile it again hit out out so can you see here address of p is b0 and address of this is also b0 that means it is confirmed that both of this address is the same so now allow, let me do a gdb gdb on this one hit out out tui enable so when i do this one so you can see a, a source code here let me put a break on line number nine let me put a break point nine let me run this one so when you run this one here you can see the value of this is something like this let me do print of this and when i do a backtrace here can you see first thing is it calls this main and the second thing is it is not calling uh, something like this so p uh, arrow operator and foo instead of this one it is calling foo using a scope resolution operator so here you can see this foo belongs to this animal animal scope resolution foo is getting called directly without being doing like this then it is sending this as a first argument and the receiver side here you can see the the argument should, the argument is something like this animal star const so this is the first argument and it received this here and it has typecasted this and it is trying to access it and it is trying to change the value of this one when i do next and when i try to print m underscore value here you can see the 10 is getting printed so that means this m is assigned a value of 10. now still if you are getting confused let's do some more exercise so what i'll do is like i'll pass a variable uh, v something like this and I'll, I'll assign this v to this one and while passing this one let me pass 10 here and let me recompile and let me do this one from here itself i can pass a tui and i can break where can i break let me break in line number nine and let me run so whenever we run this one can you see here the first argument is this and that is the address of this pointer so that address is nothing but address of this animal so this is what the address the address of this animal object which is present in the heap is being passed as a first argument to this function so let me do backtrace and can you see here so that is the first argument and the second argument v is equal to 10 so let me go and execute next and here we can print m underscore value and also we can print v so can you see this one so v is 10 and then m underscore value is being assigned to the value which is copied from 10 so this is what and also when i try to print this so here you can see a b e 0 a e b 0 that is what being sent in the main now yeah this is what we have understood so now let's do some um, hacking so let's say i'll create a test and let me call this one as let me introduce one a variable that is m underscore value and let's make this one as maybe zero as an initial value now what i'll do is i want to see here you can see the m underscore value and m underscore value in this animal both are same so is it possible to change this m underscore value from this one yes that is completely possible how to do that one let's see so what i'll do is first i'll create an instance of this test t then let's create animal star p is equal to address of t and let me do let me convert this one into the pointer sorry it's it should be animal pointer so by doing this one what i'm trying to do is like uh, this is the object of test and then uh, i'm typecasting this one i'm assigning this pointer to the object of this test so now p is pointing to this object now obviously whenever i try to call p of this one as i already told first thing is it will send the address of this object right so now in this case it should pass this one so let me do something like this std c out c out address of t is address of t backslash in so now in this case address of t this one and address of t this one and uh, whatever the value of this 
all the things should print the same so i doubt like the p will print the same let's see like how it works so let me execute this one can you see here the address of t is 9222 and the p is 992c and this is 992c now here you can see you can confirm that i am not sending this rather than i am sending the object of this test so it is a hack right so now what we can do is here i am passing a value of 10 so now let me try to print a value which is inside a t so now let me do c out so value value inside t is yeah now let me try to execute this one a dot out can you see the value inside t is 10 so how come it is like m underscore value this is the variable which is present for this object is been passed as this pointer to this one and it is being converted so the model of the story is the function does not belongs to any object the function is very much independent and the way this is coupled to the each object is by using this pointer but uh, the hack which i had done here that hack cannot be done like this so i cannot assign this value to let's say test or something like this and i cannot assign this value here even though like if i convert this type cast like this it won't work why because the argument as i already shown in a gdb it's a const this that means this cannot point to any other objects and it is constant you cannot make this one point to something else so that is the beauty of this pointer so from this one we could able to see we need to take care a lot uh, in c++ while dealing with these kind of things so let's assume like instead of value uh, here so let me introduce like let me change this value as yeah like this so let's see whether it works or not or whether it crashes can you see here the value in city is oh sorry not this one let me change this one let me compile and execute so the value of the value inside t is 10 so how come this is working man so here you can see this value is like this but in, inside this one i am changing m underscore value and here you can see the name is completely changed but how come it is working so it's it's a question for you guys so i'm not going to you know, explain like how it works so that will be maybe a part of other video so this is a question for you guys like you let me know in a comment so like how the value has been getting changed here so even though i changed this name uh, i think that's it for now so now you know like how this is getting crashed whenever you pass a null object or a null pointer so hope you like this video so if you like this video please share and subscribe